Holy guacamole. It's been so quiet weather-wise, I've forgotten what rain is. Comment down below if you remember. Thanks to a hurricane near Mexico and some Canadians leaving the freezer door open, we may have a chance for some drought relief, severe weather, snow, and what's that? Rain? Ah, water falling from the sky. Yeah, I think we need that. First things first, let's set the stage. The first part of this weather setup is gonna be the swirling mass of water in the air that's gonna make the fish think, yeah, <laughs> it's time to move. But this hurricane is important to us here in the United States because it's gonna bring some moisture. And if there's a Canadian invasion of cold air, this will lift the water vapor enough to drop rain, which I'm sure the plants will be quite happy about. So let's go to Canada to see if that's gonna happen. You wanna go to the Canadian hockey game, eh? Oh, yeah. Let me just uh, grab this beer really quick and then we'll go, eh? Okay, eh? All right, out the door. Here we go, eh? Oh no. Well, that's not good. It seems the Canadians have left plenty of cold air, even enough to freeze the warmest smile. And that air is going to spread down into the US and collide with the leftovers of Hurricane Norma. This is almost the perfect setup for severe weather on Wednesday, but with this much moisture comes cloud cover, and with too much cloud cover comes less sun. And storms can be like plants, without enough sun they can survive, but they will be wilted or less severe. But as these storms form, rain is going to be a factor, and as you can see from the southern plains all the way up to the Great Lakes, this will help the drought but won't end it. Here's the current drought map where the rain will fall, and as you can see, we're going to need a bigger boat. Well, I mean a, a lot more rain, and maybe also a bigger boat you know in case a flood happens or something as of right now though it's too far out to tell if flooding is going to be a problem i do think looking at the shear for wednesday that there's going to be enough spin in the atmosphere but without enough instability or sun or moisture probably won't see much of a tornado threat but as the oled max velocity plus models come out in a day or two we should have a better understanding on just how much energy will be available for these storms moving up to the north to the day before on the 24th there's also going to be a severe weather threat for Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. This could change. We're still a little bit far out here, but this could bring a small tornado threat, much needed rain, damaging winds, and I think hail will be non-existent or on the small end, but if anything changes, we will definitely let you know. Last but not least is snow. After the storm passes through, there are some signals of snow for the northern plains extending all the way from Idaho. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Idaho, Udaho. I, I can't believe it. Idaho so hopped up on potato power, they think they can call us all hoes. <laughs> so disrespectful. But extended all the way from to maybe northern Wisconsin. But as of right now, it's just a weak signal, so it's a little bit too far out to tell too much detail. As we get the latest, I will definitely let you know if anything changes. But yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.